How's it going guys? We are back with week number two of the team of the season. I'm going to show you all the cars and everything you need to know about it. It's an interesting one. Interesting selections here. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if not already. It's time to hop into the video right now. So a lot of people are not happy right away. I mean, so first off, here's the community team of the season, which I will show you guys my votes uh, in another video. Probably tomorrow, I would say, is when I'll release this. But uh, yes, if you go to that site, the voting will close on April 8th. So get your votes in as soon as you can, guys. But that is how the voting is going to shake out. Uh, but then you have the six NHLers for this week. It's called the team of the season. So it's the it's the second team, team of the season. So, you know, maybe, I, I guess it's a good point, though. Someone was saying that maybe these cars were made, uh, you know, earlier in the year, like January or something like that. But that's kind of silly if they do that then. But anyway, we've got Demko, Dobson, Hedman, Jack Hughes, which is really... Again, I love Jack Hughes. I'm a Devils fan. I don't know if he probably deserve a team of the season card this year, respectfully. I, I love him. I do. I just don't think so. Anyway, Pasternak and Austin Matthews, all right? Then you got the team of the seasons, Bedard, Heisey, McKenna, Luke Hughes, Brock Faber, and Rosu. So, I mean, honestly, pretty good. I mean, I, I think it's a pretty good week. I, I, I really don't think there's too many misses here. Uh, I think probably Jack shouldn't be here. Maybe not Dobson either. Uh, but yeah, I mean, a lot of those guys that you think should be, you know, other, other people that got it are also eligible for community, you know, team of the season, right? So you could vote there, but, uh, then you have the objectives for week two, which is three event collectibles. It's just coins. And I guess you get an elite pack here as well, but, uh, not really too much here in general, right? So, uh, that's kind of all how the objectives shake out and all that. And let's look at some of the, uh, the moments here. We have the moments here and really, I mean, it's interesting that they have, these they're, they're kind of locked here actually guys so what they made it here is that you need to actually complete each moment to play the next you can't just like decide to play the victor hemman one before uh you know the dobson one for example which is interesting but uh that's how they do it you know prime pack for doing that a premium pack a premium pack four gold players a prime pack and finally you got a team of season collectible prime pack and four gold players so uh, just kind of like okay moments, nothing too special, but what you really expect. We got the sets, obviously, that's kind of a big thing. I don't want to like wait too long to show you guys that, but here are the sets. So, uh, cost the same to make each collectible, so not even really worth looking at. Uh, but then you have the second NHL team of the season set, so here they go. So, basically, the same cost 40 collectibles that make them straight out. Um, it costs 15 collectibles with Austin Matthews 94 Elite MSP, so still a decent amount of collectibles, but not unreasonable by any means. Pasternak 40 outright, uh, it's 30 with his 89 MSP here as well, so that's, that's decent. I mean, it's not like too expensive, but it's, it's a little bit of a 10, 10 collectible discount. Jack Hughes, it's 40 to make him outright. It's eight with his X Factor maxed out at 95 overall edition here. Um, and then you also have Dobson, you gotta make 40, Hedman 40 or 30 with his Nations of Hockey MSP, 30 collectibles, uh, and then Demko to make him straight out is 40. So those are how the sets work out for them. Uh, then you have, you have the, you can make a random one, obviously. It's, this is only one player, by the way. Uh, it's just a one random player. So if you trade in 32 flags, you get one random and it could be any of them, which is really sketchy. But uh, then you have the next gen team of the season sets. So just kind of the young stars. So this is if you have the, you know, the MSPs of, of the young stars like Bedard here. So Bedard, obviously, if you have his variant version, you could trade him in there for 34 collectibles. You can't make Bedard, unfortunately, straight up. Uh, which sucks, but Heisey, if you have a team of the year, you could trade our team of the year in for a team of the season and team of the year. Luke Hughes, same thing as the Bedard here. Uh, you can trade in their MSP, right? But 34 collectibles with it. Faber, same thing, 34 collectibles. Uh, and that's just how it works. Unfortunately, you cannot make these cards straight up. I wish you could. I don't know why you can't, but that's just, that's how they decided to uh, to do, really, to, to really do in the end. I'm not, I'm not sure why, but that's what they did. And then the team of the season packs, I mean, that's what you expect, right? You have the jumbo collectible packs. I think that's kind of been out, right? But 10 team of the season collectibles, uh, more collectibles, three of them there. One team of the season collectible. You have your team of the season choice pack. So it's selected a total of 15 players over five rounds with a greater chance at pulling a team of the season player from week number two. Those are the odds on it. 90 plus 21 percent i mean it's okay i guess um team of the season players pack 25 players all 80 plus with a greater chance of pulling a team of the season player from week number two so i mean again fine odds nothing crazy this pack i mean i just can't believe it i mean i opened one so yeah i'll obviously have a video on it i mean i i don't have to say i mean they have new car they have a new pack art that's how ridiculous this is i mean i 
I, I, I don't know what to say. I really don't. But anyway, anyway, guys, let's look at some of the actual team of the season cards now. Now we've got Austin Matthews here, 63208. I mean, people right away say that this card is uh, is technically worse than his uh, than his 94. But I mean, is it really though? I mean, I, I don't really agree. I mean, his face-offs are still 99 if you do activate 2A4, which is really not hard to activate with the three synergy points now with it. Um, and his shot's already maxed out. So it's like, I, I wouldn't really say that's really better, the other MS. It's, this, you gotta understand, guys, this card's gonna keep going up. And at least during the playoffs, Matthews will get another card this year. Like, he's gonna be a 99, Matthews. That MSP will become outdated at some point. You gotta remember that. Uh, but he's still, obviously, great card. Unstoppable for his 1T, puck on the string, elite edges, quick draw, and gold make it snappy. So, uh, that's, uh, that's awesome. Matthews right there, great card. Um, and then you have... David Pasternak, he's a fantastic card here as well. 6'1", 195, right-handed winger. I might make him, honestly. Uh, he's got every synergy, basically, right? I mean, give him, give him those synergies, and he's really cooking. 98 speed, 96 acceleration, silver tape of tape, silver puck on a string, silver unstoppable force, silver make it snappy, silver close quarters, and finally, gold 1T. I mean, that's, that's pretty solid, honestly, uh, when it comes to the abilities there. So, I mean... Yeah, he's a great card, Pasternak. I mean, I, I really do enjoy this card, and I, I think I'm gonna make him. I really do. And then we got Victor Hedman here as well, six foot seven, two forty four. And the good thing about Hedman, guys, is six foot seven. He can give him enforcer defenseman, giving him ninety five speed with speed boost. Oh my goodness, ninety nine by checking of a six seven D man. That sounds like a W to me. Gold shutdown, silver heat seekers, silver elite edges, silver uh, quick pick, silver tape of tape, silver in reverse here. And honestly. It's just, it's a very, very good card here. I mean, this is a card that you definitely, definitely want to make if you can. I mean, he is, uh, he's a special card. I mean, he really is in every, in every area. Jack Hughes here, really good card too. I mean, very just shocking. Like I said, he can get 99 speed with speed boost here. Just shocking that he got a card, but uh, he's got silver ankle breaker, silver shrug it off, silver shock and off, silver snipe, silver elite edges, and finally gold unstoppable force, which will definitely help him as a 5'11 forward. I mean, that... That's something he definitely needs. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, Jack Hughes, like I said, I don't really think it's really the thing that he should have got a card. I mean, but hey, listen, I'm happy as a Devils fan, but I know a lot of people are probably going to be mad and say that that I did it. I didn't do it, guys. Trust me, I don't have an impact on the game that much. I, I wish I could, but I, I don't have an impact to select cards. Trust me, this is not because of me. Hope you guys know that. I don't want people to, to hate me, but uh, Bedard here, I, I don't know why the logos are going through the cards here on these, but anyway, I had to show Bedard because I know people would definitely want to see Bedard here, but uh, max out shot pretty much right there. Uh, 95 speed, 93 excel. Uh, he's got unstoppable force, shrug it off, elite edges, make it snappy, skilled up, and gold shock and awe here on Bedard. I mean, really, really nice. I mean, I, I would say that I don't love his goal ability, but it's still a very nice and fast card, Bedard. I mean, you, you can't deny that. Um, and then you got Noah Dobson. He's a great defenseman, 6'4", 200 pounds. Uh, he also gets Enforcer Defenseman, so he can get up to 96 speed with speed boost and Enforcer Defenseman. Silver Shutdown, Silver Seeing Eyes, Silver Tape of Tape, Silver Quick Pick, Silver Ice Pack, and Goalie Lead Edges. So really nice abilities, too, on this Noah Dobson card. You can't deny that at all. Um, but yeah, he's, he's great. He really is. Uh, and, and again, people will be maybe surprised about that one too. Taylor Heisey, she's also very good. Um, she does have, no, she doesn't actually have Enforcer, but 94 speed. So, you know, the shots obviously a little bit of a disappointment on her card. That's the only downside, right? But silver elite edges, silver puck on a string, make it snappy, unstoppable force, shrug it off. And finally gold wheels though is obviously very, very nice. So that, that's very helpful. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think... I mean, I I think that's uh, I think I think that's pretty reasonable. I mean, I, I I think that that she deserves it. I mean, she's having a great year. Uh, and then we also have this Faber. I mean, Faber definitely deserves it as well. Uh, I didn't I didn't forget Demko by the way. But Faber, great card. He gets 96 speed with Enforcer Defenseman. Uh, he's got Ice Pack, Heat Seeker, Yoink, Send It, No Contest, and Gold Shutdown. I mean, that is really 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 good though. Um, yeah, I mean. Brock Faber, I mean, to me, one of the best right Ds now in the game. I mean, I, I really like that card a lot. Um, McKenna, I believe, is also new as well. Uh, he's really good. 98 speed, by the way. That's crazy. Goal unstoppable force, elite edges, make it snappy, shrug it off, tape the tape, and silver puck on a string. Uh, but then we got Thatcher Demko as well. I, I didn't forget him. I didn't forget him. I didn't forget him. Uh, but he's 6'4", 192, light work, post to post, butterfly effect, instincts, last stand, and gold showstopper. So really fantastic card here as well. Uh, and then the last few here, you got 
Uh, Natalie Spooner here as well. Um, yeah, I mean, these are just good cards here. I mean, these really are like, I mean, Luke Hughes is is really incredible too. I don't think, wait, is Spooner new this week? Honestly, that's why I'm, I'm hesitating to show her. But um, yeah, I mean, she's, uh, she's a good card anyway. I mean, I, I honestly... I'll just make sure. I mean, she's a good card. 93 speed. Again, it's just a shot to kind of a downside to some of these women team of the season cards. That's the only the only kind of an L uh, thing about it. But uh, Luke Hughes is phenomenal too, though. 97 speed with Enforcer Defense. It's crazy. Silver Elite Edges, Silver Quick Pick, Silver Stick em Up, Silver Tape of Tape, Silver Wheels, and Gold Seeing Eye. I don't love the gold ability there, but still a very good card. I mean, 97 speed is crazy on this card. So that's that I'm a big fan of. Um, and then uh, this Rosso, Rosso, I, I'm so bad at pronouncing his name, I'm sorry, Russo. Uh, but he's got Showstopper, Butterfly Effect, Extra Padding, Last Stand, Post of Post, and Gold Lightwork. So let me know what you guys think of this week of Team of the Season. I mean, do you think it's better than last week? I think it is, personally, but uh, let me know if it's that much better for you guys or who you're making. I'm going to make a video on the rankings on all this tomorrow, don't you worry, uh, and, all, and, and all my voting and all that. So don't worry, just... Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get three E's. And be sure to join my Discord. Talk to me, followers, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.